The world is in turmoil, but God's light can shatter the darkness. I was speaking to Iranian refugees in Turkey a few months before the failed coup. I shared the gospel in the evening and disciple new believers in the day. A man came to me and said, I became a follower of Jesus yesterday, but tomorrow I must return to Iran. I don't have a Bible. I can't go to a church. I could go to prison or even be killed. What should I do? As I prayed about this man's situation and thousands of others like him, I believe that God laid on my heart something that will help him to follow Jesus Christ and grow in his faith. I decided that I would develop an application that would help Christians to disciple new believers around the world, similar to what I did when I was a pastor many years ago. But technology is not what disciples people. Discipleship is built on relationships. And God has given me over many years of ministry strong relationships with key leaders around the world. It is a great joy and delight for me to inform you that Tututu Ministries International for many a year has partnered and worked together with Sami Tippett Ministries in reaching out the people of Afghanistan, Tajikistan, and Iran, and the Persian-speaking word in the diaspora. God is doing a phenomenal work in these countries, and as Operation Word says, Iranian church is the fastest growing church in the world. I'm so excited to share the news that we are working with STM to produce a new resource, a very effective tool, which comes in a form of application, which will enable the believers all scattered in Iran to enter this system and be discipled and mentored in a wonderful way. This is a unique technology which my dear brother, Dr. Sammy Tippett, has been sharing with me. I can think of a dear sister who wrote us recently and said she came to Christ as a result of uh, watching uh, satellite television and she said there's no church around here we don't have a pastor can you be our pastor and I had six of my friends that came and they all got saved too but we don't have any way to get discipled to learn more about Christ and God and and the Bible so I'm so encouraged to see we will have this app and I told that dear sister hang in there help is on the way we are going to help these Iranian believers grow in their faith in Christ, but we can do so much more. Recently, I trained students from Emmanuel University to disciple Romanians scattered throughout Europe using the application. I have known Brother Sami Tipit since the early 80s. We met underground. I was impressed by his commitment, his perseverance, and his passion for the work of the gospel. We continue our partnership during the days after the communist revolution, and now we are about to embark on a new adventure, trying to reach a new generation of Romanians and people beyond the boundaries of Romania with a new app. This is a great day. We can reach the world for Jesus. I discipled about 40 people in a church in India using Skype technology. Then we began evangelistic meetings. Hundreds of people have come to Christ. And one of them is my friend Mohan Singh, who come from a very strong Sikh family. But he came to our Skype evangelistic meeting where he accepted Christ. It was a very big decision for him, but by God's grace, uh, through the prayers of many people, he accepted Christ. And now I'm very excited about many people who have come to know about Jesus through our Skype evangelistic meetings. And I'm very excited to give them a tool that is uh, our app, Run Like a Champion, so that they can be discipled. They can know how they can grow in Christ. So how can you help? We've completed several languages. However, we have some languages that are only partially translated and other languages that have no translation and we need the funding for it. We are working on the Arabic project right now. By faith, we've moved forward and did some of the um, translation for the text, but we are waiting for the funds to be able to really get into the uh, interviews and be able to translate and dub those projects. And now people of Pakistan need your 
discipleship system. And I would like to request you, why don't it be your next step, our next project, to put your discipleship system into apps that all the people in Pakistan could use that material. We've already translated the materials into Farsi, Romanian, Russian, Punjabi, and Portuguese. But we need help with funding for Chinese, for Arabic, for Urdu, which is in Pakistan, for Hindi in, in uh, India, and also in Hungarian. It costs about $90,000 to complete the first group of languages that we've begun, and we need another $95,000 to complete all of those languages. The terrorists are using technology to spread fear and destruction around the world. We need to use technology to spread the light of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Do what he said do. Make disciples of all the world. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this presentation. I want you to know that 100% of whatever you give will go directly towards the translation of these discipleship materials. God bless you.